We are to be submissive to our government. And I think that's utterly clear. You can't even argue this, really. We can gently speak up about social issues and justice issues, certainly. But we must, now this is a super important. This goes beyond. It, this goes beyond just following laws and just paying taxes. Hear me on this one. This is very important. We must refrain from causing anguish and division, and we must refrain from being coarse and deriding, and we must refrain from being nasty and rude when we talk about our governing authorities in the public space. I know, that's a far cry from political discourse today, but as Christians, we cannot enter that realm of being abusive to, towards our authorities in speech, of being deriding and being nasty and rude. We can't do that. Why do I say this? Look at Titus chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Remind them, this is Paul talking to Titus, remind them to be submissive to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show perfect courtesy toward all people. The answer Paul gives to Titus in the church in Crete is to answer the harshness of our governing authorities and evil laws with good works and courtesy and not to speak evil of the laws even though they are wrong, but to do good works in the face of them and to be courteous toward all people, gentle, not quarreling, and speaking evil of no one. You can't curse out the president. You can't curse out Congress. You shouldn't you know, slime and throw bricks and throw fruit at politicians. That's the temptation. That's our flesh saying, let's just heap all this, all this um, dialogue, all this negative dialogue. Let's blame them. Blame this party. Blame that politician. Blame this president. That's easy. That's what our flesh wants to do. But Paul says something different. He says, well, the only way to actually combat these harsh rules and evil laws is with good works. Our government says you can abort children. It's totally legal. What do you do? You start a women's center. You counsel young, troubled, pregnant women. And you give them an option. And you plug them into adoption agencies. And you give them free pregnancy tests. And you counsel with them. Start a women's center. That's how you really answer the problem. Heaping evil words doesn't do one thing. And it's not a witness to the outside world, the unbelieving world at all. First Peter chapter 2.